the, the last challenge that we had is to provide better services without replacing the customer CPE. We choose to use RF element horns, creating small sectors, micro sectors. Mm -hmm. Four years ago, I plan to use 10 degree sectors. I see. What we can do in the future to bring more bandwidth? Micro sector. So 10 degree sectors where I can put inside 10 no more 20 customers, micro sectors. So 36 sectors in a tower, imagine that. And I plan to do that using panel antenna. That usually, usually the 23 dB panel antenna, but... You mean like directional one? Yeah. Not the sector, just yeah. the directional. Direction, the mm -hmm. panel antenna for the CPE, for example. Right, right. The standard uh, mm -hmm. square, 30 centimeters wide, usually have a gain of 20, 23 dB, and the aperture vertical and the horizontal is 10 degree. Was perfect for my idea, uh, but I never did because to mount the 36 panels is not easy, first. And second, because the DES antenna use patch array system on the printed circuit board on the PCB, and the diagram, the polar diagram is not uniform. Have lot of micro sector together. Then, uh, one year ago, I start to watch a new sector, asymmetrical one, the 2030 from RF elements, that if you mount in horizontal, is uh, 20 at mm -hmm. minus 6 dB, and is 15 at minus 3 dB. They say, okay, it's not 10 degree, but can be a starter, before we are using the uh, ubiquity sector with uh, 330 degree inside. So we are working with 30 degree antennas, but they have uh, not so much insulation each other. We know that, but they work for a while. Your horns is for us 15, 15 degrees, have a good gain is 20.5, I remember. And a good elevation aperture is 22 degrees at minus 3 dB, is the opposite. So I, will, I am able to cover more people than the standard uh, sector that have 8 degree or vertical aperture. And okay, the 15 degrees wide, 22 degree height is perfect to cover people under the tower and in front of the tower, let's see. And the diagram, the diagram is just one main giant lobe. It's perfect. We design all the sectors. We load the antenna profile of the RF elements horns that we was able to download from the website. And uh, we was able to upload all our customer location mm -hmm. These are the customers that we had, we had attached to this tower before upgrading. That's the coverage. We discover, for example, this one will be difficult. No, this one is inside. So this is a different point. And most of them, everybody is inside and with good signal, see the horn shape. And we increase uh, people uh, from uh, 10 megabit probably because they have some signal problems or they are in some side lobby, you know? Right. In the patch array antenna, you will never know what happens from 10 to 60 megabits on 20 megahertz channel. And you can see we was able to increase the signals between only 6 dB, that about 6 dB. And we will be able to switch to 40 megahertz channel now because we have a good signal. We, are, uh, we don't hear interferences between our horns and the competitors. And with 40 megahertz, we are able to bring up to 120 megabit to the customers using microtech devices that, you know, uh, on the market, there are better wireless products today with better technology.